Hey guys, this is Mr. Fister here. I'm going to show you guys today how to do a uh, how to create uh, custom icons for your Seven Days to Die, or to import custom uh, icons to your Seven Days to Die in your uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common Seven Days to Die folder. You need to right click, go to New folder, and then just create a, a folder called Mods. Inside that folder, you need to create another one called Item icon test each one is capitalized so item is capitalized icon is capitalized test is capitalized in the next folder you will have uh item icons so right click uh create a new mod file or a new folder and then do item icons this is required the mod info uh that is required to pull any sort of images what you'll need to do is go into notepad and this is basically all you have to do is just have the normal uh let me move it down a little bit so you can see all the coding. I'll post it in the, the video too, but um, you'll have to have the, uh, the caret, question mark, XML, blah, 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 crap up here. Uh, the name, description, author, version, and website, and then close the mod info, close the XML. Um, I, will, uh, I, I can put up all the, basically the brackets and everything in the thing. And then in the item icons, all of the icons, oops, let me change this. Must be 116. Now you don't need that that file. That that's actually crap. These JPGs are just ones I've imported. Uh, I'll delete those. Um, basically, what you need to do. Oh, actually, that one's also another one that. Did I leave that normal size? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, oops. One sec. Deleting. All right, there we go. Basically, uh, what you'll need to do. Each one of these files has to be a .png. So they have to be PNG files, and what I've done is I went through and I've made a bunch of files. Like this one is a KSG. This right here is for my Fister mining pick. Uh, in the game, it's about yay size, pretty good size, um, and it will load that up. And uh, all you do is you put them in there. It has to be the exact name of the item. You do uh, you do have to put a custom uh, custom icons. Uh, like, let me go into... Okay. Like, if I went into data, config, and if I added the item itself, I wanted to edit notepad++. We'll go straight down to the bottom. Okay, like, let's say I added lemon seed. Uh, lowercase l, capitalized uh, S for seed. In here, under... Oh, it looks like I gotta go back. Okay. Okay, you can see I got lowercase l, capitalized S. That will pull this as long as you have this right here. Property, space name, equals, uh, you know, custom icon, value, lemon seed. You know, closed. Um, that right there will make it so the, uh, it will come out with a custom icon of a lemon seed. Right, pretty simple setup. Um, so I've got, you know, like, placed as blocks and all that kind of crap. This does work. I've got a lemon launcher. I've got the, or actually, that's the potato, or the, uh, potato slash lemon that I've added to the game. It's got a lemon icon, looks like a, a lemon. Then I got a lemon launcher here, the eliminator. So, very, very easy to do. Uh, but the main thing is, if you have downloaded a mod file, and you want to add this in, just right-click on your 7 Days to Die and paste it here, and then extract here. So like this is a uh, this is a mod file right here. You would just right click, extract here. Very very simple. But that's all you got to do to get custom icons on your servers. Um, each per uh, now if you put it on the server, every single person has to download it. That's how it goes. No way around it. But just right click, extract here. That's it. Super simple. And it'll uh, put the mod icon test item icons. And there you go. You got everything right there. Well, if you enjoyed this, head over to twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Fister without the E uh, in Mr. So M-I-S-T-R. You can see it up there. Uh, twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Fister. I, st I stream a lot. So enjoy it and have a good one.